back to my channel. So today I am filming the puppy filter slash Instagram baddie Halloween costume. Yes, I said it. I know, it's so original, right? <laughs> I just figured that this would be a super fun DIY to do because one, it's like my favorite filter on Snapchat. Everyone would know who you are as soon as you walked into your party or your trick-or-treating or whatever you're gonna do, everyone would know exactly who you are. So this was a super, super easy DIY to do. I didn't really do much, but print out some pictures and tape this some stuff. And yeah, I also include the tutor the makeup tutorial part and the hair and the costume itself, like the outfit and how to do all of this. So if you would like to see that, be sure to check it out and stay tuned. And if you guys wanna follow me on all my social media and stuff like that, and if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. All my social media is linked down below as always. And subscribe if you want to see more Halloween videos. And yeah, let's just get started. So I already have my eyebrows done and my face primed. So I'm taking the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just taking a transition shade. You can take any transition shade that you like. And then I'm going to take the two orangish red shades and I'm going to put that in the crease and just blend it out. Then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take the orange shade and just make it a little bit more orange, a little bit more opaque. So next I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to take two dark brown shades and just put that in my outer corners and blend it to the crease. Next I'm going to take the gold shade in the palette. You can take any gold shade you want. I'm just taking it on my finger and I'm blending it onto, or I'm putting it on my lid and now I'm blending it out and just making sure everything's seamlessly blended. Then I'm going to take my eyeliner and do a fierce wing because Instagram baddies wings are cutting people as they walk by. <laughs> So next I'm just taking my mascara and you can use any mascara of your choice and just making sure that my eyelashes are full and ready for falsies. So I've already put on my falsies off camera and my foundation so I'm just concealing and I'm putting two types of concealer on to brighten up my face just because I feel like Instagram baddies have really brightened highlighted features. and. I I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using um, a cream concealer as well. Next I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and baking for the gods because Instagram baddies are always baking. So make sure to bake all the cookies and the cakes. Just bake it all. And then I just applied my blush and now I'm just taking off my bake and making sure that I don't have any loose powder all over my face. And I'm taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Topaz and I'm applying that before I put on my powder highlight because I need a fierce, like fierce, like super fierce highlight. Like I need to be blinding everyone as I walk by, everyone who opens the door for trick-or-treating, every party that you walk in, you need to be blinding everyone. So I'm just going back in with my BH Cosmetics palette and filling in the under eye just to make sure it blends in seamlessly with the lid and the under eye. And next I'm going to set my face, of course, as per usual. And then I'm going to take my Tartise Lip Paint from Tarte Cosmetics in the shade Crop Top. And this is just a very nude kind of brown color for me. Um, it's just very nudey for me and I feel like people on Instagram have very nude lips when they have looks like this. So I'm also just going to take this gloss from NYX in the shade Madeline and I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. And this is the final look. So next we're moving on to the outfit and this is going to be the basic outfit just a high necked crop top with a flannel of course black jeans and black boots and this is a little bit of an overview of what you would look like moving on to hair so basically just split your hair down the middle brush it and add a hat and you should be good to go If you wanted to stop here and just be an Instagram baddie, you could, but we are going to be extra today, so we are going to be the puppy filter. So you just want to look up the puppy filter on Google, put it on a Word document, make sure it's big enough, and print it out. And we're just going to cut out the ears, the nose, and the tongue. So you want to just take your hat and you're going to need two pieces of tape for this. So you're going to take your ear 
and tape the back side and tape the front side and just stick it on your hat wherever you want it to be and i ended up rearranging my ears because i didn't like how they were looking so you can just play around with it so now i'm going to move on to the tongue and i just use this wooden rod that i found in my garage and taped two pieces of tape on the back of the tongue and it, this was like the easiest part of the whole thing so that's how you do the tongue super cute Next, I'm just going to be applying the nose. So I'm gonna use some eyelash glue. I applied it on a Q-tip and just put a little bit on my nose, like on the tip of my nose. And I also applied a little bit on the back of the paper. So just push that on your nose, hold it down for a little bit and you should be good to go. And now you are the puppy filter, yes! So you wouldn't be an Instagram baddie without taking selfies and posting them on your Snapchat, of course. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it just because like, look at me, I'm a dog. <laughs> I am the puppy filter, like that's so cute. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love filming it and I just really like this outfit. I think it'd be really cute for Halloween. Um, it's really easy, so if you like don't know what to do for Halloween, you don't know what to be yet, write this on your list <laughs> um, and try it out. It's super easy, the makeup is really easy for it. Um, you don't even have to do the makeup. I just wanted to include the Instagram baddie and the puppy filter because it seems like everybody on Instagram, every Instagram baddie uses a puppy filter. So I was like, I'll just put the two together and it'll be hand in hand. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Halloween videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye guys.